Hey everybody, it's Stacy Hawkins, the queen of lean and green from stacyhawkins.com and welcome to the place to be to make a better meal and live a better life. I love videos like the one I'm going to show you tonight because it is a quick, easy, probably 10 minute family meal that you and, like I said, your entire family are going to love. What am I making? How about a citrus kissed shrimp with some yummy, wonderful spinach greens with it, right? I'm actually using mixed greens tonight. I've got some spinach and um, it's also baby beet greens that are mixed together, but you can use whatever greens you want. And this is so quick, so easy, and so delicious. I promise it's going to become a go-to for you. So ready? Let's go over to the stove and I'm gonna show you how to make the magic. Okay, let's review the ingredients really quickly. And quickly is all we need because this is so ridiculously simple. I'm starting with our luscious lemon oil. A little bit of lemon oil is gonna give it a lot of flavor. And of course, we need some oil to cook these really delicate, yummy shrimp in, right? Next, we're gonna add our shrimp. I have some, look at how beautiful these are. Wild caught extra jumbo shrimp. There's one pound of them. I know, jumbo shrimp is an oxymoron, but that's what we're using, jumbo shrimp. Then to that, I'm also going to add what's gonna give us all our flavor tonight, which is the Simply Brilliant seasoning. Probably two capfuls of this, lots of garlic, lots of onion, lots of really, really yummy stuff that's in it. And most importantly, it's going to have a little bit of salt, which we need as well. So while I'm talking, I'm going to add the oil to the pan. Just four teaspoons, because especially if you're on program, one teaspoon, as you know, is one healthy fat. So to keep the count simple, four teaspoons. We're gonna let this heat up, and I wanna to talk to you while this is heating a little bit about shrimp, because it is kind of a novel protein source. It's not your chicken, it's not your regular fish, and it's certainly not beef that we're used to using or to eating. So shrimp is one of those really nice alternatives. And I always, always, always keep a one pound or a two pound bag of frozen shrimp in the freezer at all times, because they thaw really quickly and they cook even quicker, as you're going to see. Plus they're really versatile. All right, oh, I wish you could smell this heating up. I know I always say that, but in this case, I really mean it. This is, well, not that I don't mean it any other time, but you know what I mean. All right, this is hot, and now I'm going to add the shrimp. So these have been peeled, and they have been deveined as well. I'm gonna try to just kind of put them out into one layer here, because again, if we have one layer in the heat, it'll cook a little bit faster for you. And you're gonna see these, um, shrink down just a little bit. These are raw shrimp. These are not pre-cooked shrimp. Please do not use pre-cooked shrimp because all they need is like hot water to re-warm them up. Um, if you put them over heat, they turn to rubber. They get really, 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 really gross. And by all means, as I said, buy the wild caught shrimp as well. All right, to this I'm gonna add, as I said, my Simply Brilliant seasoning. And I'm gonna take two capfuls, which as you know, is two tablespoons. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it over here. Here's one. Here's two. You know, I was talking about the shrimp being a novel protein source before. One of the great things about shrimp is the quantity of it that you can eat. And again, I'm gonna put the lean and green counts down for you so that you have them um, and know exactly what the portion size is. But with shrimp, a little bit goes a long way and they really are so sating and so delicious and so yummy. And they're also so, um, kind of mild flavored and bland that they take on the flavor of whatever it is you're cooking with them. So in this case, it's gonna take on the flavor of the Simply Brilliant seasoning, as I said, which is lemon and garlic and chives and a little bit of salt and pepper as well. So mwah, yummy, what's not to love, right? I actually am gonna use a pair of tongs here. This is gonna make flipping these over a little bit easier. These really do not take very long to cook at all. And again, if you have smaller shrimp, they're gonna take a little bit less cooking time. These larger jumbo shrimp, as I said, are gonna take a little bit longer. Put those in, and as I'm flipping them over too, I'm coating them in that garlic, as you can see. And you can hear the sizzle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love shrimp as a lean and green meal, again, because there's so many things that you can do with this. And I'll tell you what, if you cook a bunch of this now, and then uh, just chill it in your refrigerator. These are really great over a salad tomorrow. Mm. Lots of different ways and that you can eat them. And I was gonna say, everybody who knows me knows I love to cook things once and eat them many, many, many times. Right, the more mileage you can get from your cooking, the better. So, 
frozen shrimp, as I said, if you do not already have those on your pantry list, then make sure you get them on there. And if you do not have a pantry list or you're wondering what I'm talking about, please go to my website, stacyhawkins.com, and click on the blog. And in the lean and green area, there's a worksheet there that's called The Week's Eats, and it helps you plan out your meals and your menus. If you get one of the... Um, the Lean and Green Low Carb Cooking Systems, it comes with it. Uh, my guide to the well-stocked pantry, fridge, and freezer as well. And these are definitely on that freezer list. All right, these are almost cooked through and through. I'm gonna hold them up here so that you can see. See how they've turned opaque and they're nice and pink? Now's the time for me to add the greens. So I have about six cups here. Four to six cups is really all you need of um, green leafy vegetables as I said in this case I am using a combination of baby spinach and baby beet greens so they are going to have just a little bit extra flavor and as I continue to toss these as you see all I'm going to do is really wilt the spinach all right I've tossed this and literally, I'm going to let it sit for just one to two minutes till it's nice and wilted. And when I come back, we're going to have a finished dinner. Okay, are you ready? Because dinner is. Can you believe how quick that was? And look at this. Look at how exquisitely yummy and delicious this looks. And oh, the smell is outrageous. A very simple, quick, easy, 10 minute lean and green meal that you can make anytime for yourself and your family. Make it once, eat it a couple times. However you wind up doing it, you'll enjoy this lean and green meal, I promise you. I'm Stacey Hawkins, the queen of lean and green. Please feel free to check out this recipe and many, many more recipes, ideas, tips, techniques, you name it. If it's lean and green, you're gonna find it on my website at stacyhawkins.com. Have a great day.